Good afternoon, guys. It is currently 3 o'clock on Friday. I am made up. <laughs> I'm just about to do my hair, and we're gonna head up to shoot some stuff for a campaign. I didn't wake up until 2 o'clock today, so there's gonna be a short vlog again. But I'm doing some more fun stuff today, so you get to join me on that. I will check back in with you guys once I'm done my hair. So I just finished my hair, and we're gonna head out to shoot. I turned around to go find out where Colby was. I wanna show you guys this is how I found him. Buddy, why have you claimed your dad's jacket as your kingdom? Hmm? Oh, now you want to get up. Hi, cutie. You having a good day so far? Or has it been a rough one? <laughs> so we're gonna go grab the camera, head out to shoot. I'm very lucky right now because it just stopped raining and it's about to get a little sunnier. So thank God I have some sun to capture because it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now and the sun sets so fast here. Usually by like 4 p.m. it starts getting dark out already. So here's to good luck and hoping that I get a lot of sun for my photo because I want to get a good one. And then we're gonna head back home and do some work and edit yesterday's vlog! Okay, so the closet mirrors aren't up yet, so I can't really show you what I'm wearing for the day except for in this mirror. I hope the light gets a little bit better because this is so dark. That's a little better. Thanks for opening the door, babe, to share the light. So, I am wearing a full dynamite outfit. That's who I'm shooting for today. I work with a lot of fashion brands just because I do a lot of fashion content. So, one of my collaborations is with Dynamite and I shoot content for them every month. Today's outfit, I have this burgundy slash oxblood like turtleneck sweater. I've tucked it into my skirt here just to give it like a little bit of extra volume and texture. And then I have this very chic kind of like rust red pinkish hue faux leather skirt. It is actually really thick and like surprisingly warm up here. And then on the top, I am wearing this black long boyfriend blazer as like a layering over piece. And I've paired it and tied the whole outfit together with these black kind of like wrinkled wedge boots. So these are kind of cute because they also add some texture into the outfit since there's like ruching along the edges. And I like that it kind of like really covers up to the knees so it keeps you kind of warm in the winter time. So that's gonna be my outfit for today. And then we're gonna head out to shoot this. We'll see you guys there. We just finished shooting my stuff, as you guys saw. So now we're gonna shoot Babes. He's shooting this outfit. What are you wearing? A Gap jacket, a hoodie from Russell Park. That's what uh, you got Sachs from Saks outfit. outfit, right? Yeah, our W and Co jeans and my J's. Ooh, let's see your J's. Let's see your J's. Are these your new purchase? Yep. My Ford 11s. Do you like them? Who just called you out for wearing them out in the rain? Some rando. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Give you sass for wearing your brand new shoes out in the oh, rain man. today? Heading into Dollarama. Okay. If we get 10 of them, how big is it gonna be? I mean, we can probably just get one of those. Let me just get one of these. This would have been nice to have in Belize. <laughs> Picking up some ornaments for a little miniature white tree and fake snowballs. This is genius. And I don't have to carry real snow when I throw them for photos. So mean. Also getting these mini candy canes to throw into my hot chocolate. Peppermint hot chocolate is the best hot chocolate. I hate winter because it's so gloomy like this. Then when you turn this way and you look at the CN Tower, it's clearly sunny above the clouds. Bring back summer. One hour later. We are back home now from a shooting and hitting up Dollarama. This humidity in the air has really done a number to my hair. But not gonna lie, I kinda like my curls more falling out like this, so I'm okay with it. I just know that it won't last till tomorrow, and I have an event that I'm hosting tomorrow. So it would be nice if it stayed nice and curly like this till tomorrow afternoon, so that I don't have to curl it. If you guys have any tips on how to keep your hair curly after you do it, please share with me. I've tried a plethora of hairsprays, um, like extra hold stuff and it just doesn't seem to want to keep any of my curls. How do I get my hair to look like this on an everyday basis without fearing that it's just gonna like fall straight or to have overly curly hair just to wait for it to go like this? It is a struggle. It is a struggle, I tell you. Kobe, come up! Come on! Come here! I'm joined by Kobe right now. Where are you, buddy? I'm sitting here on my lap. We're just chilling at home together. I'm gonna take him out for a walk in a little bit and then we'll come home and we're gonna bake up some chicken and steamed veggies for dinner because we have so much extra food that we wanna finish before we leave so that it doesn't go bad while we're gone for two weeks. 
Dude, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't lick me 24 seven, man. Do I taste that good? What are you eating? What are you eating? What did you put in your mouth, Kobe? Let me see. Peter's over there chilling on the floor doing God knows what. Why are you on the floor instead of the couch? Like who does this? Because my back hurts. So you're sitting on the floor instead? I'm lying down on the floor. Go sleep on our bed. We specifically got a firm bed because you liked it for your back. Okay. Go to I, sleep. I also like the floor for my back. You're so ridiculous. <laughs> now you're off the couch. What's that? Do you like snuggling with me, Colts? We're back outdoors. Taking the dog out for a walk right now. Colby's gonna have some fun. Maybe bring him to the park so he gets some park time. And then come back home for some more quality time on the couch with Netflix watching Friends. Not me. What? I'll be working. You can watch Friends all you want. I'll watch Friends alone, guys. Fun. Lame. Loser. Okay, that's a mean thing to say. Okay. That's not our home. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we're back at home now and we have a task tonight. We actually have to wrap presents. Oh, it's pretty fun. <laughs> For a Christmas party that we're going to this weekend at Mel and Dave's place because we're playing Kris Kringle. You guys don't know what it is. It's where you like bring a gift, kind of like Secret Santa. There's no name on it. You just put the gifts in the pile in the center and then you pick them one at a time and you get to steal them away from each other. So, a lot of fun. I love that game. So we decided, since we had to wrap presents, we're gonna do it a little bit differently this year and we're gonna do drunken Christmas wrapping. You'll be drunk. No, he's gonna start off with a beer. I'm gonna start, with, start off with some wine. We're gonna do a little bit of work while we're drinking and then we'll come back once we start to feel like a slight buzz and continue to drink while we wrap these presents. I hope you guys enjoy this. I have no idea where this is gonna go. I'm like partially scared, but partially excited because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. My well, wrapping sucks anyways. So are you ready to uh, get your drink on? Yeah, I'm always ready to drink. <laughs> you never have to ask him to drink beer. Yeah. He always just willingly does it on his own. Kobe, stop! Do you wanna wrap presents with us too? I feel like this is gonna make it a, a whole extra level harder for us just because we already find it so difficult to wrap presents when Kobe's around because he likes to really interfere with the wrapping process. Like. Now, he's trying to hump my leg. I'm sorry guys, if you can see this. Literally trying to hump my leg. You're gross. Stop. We're gonna get our drink on and then we'll come back and see what happens when we wrap our presents partially buzzed and with the dog trying to interfere. See you later guys. Eventually. Welcome to Boozy Gift Wrapping with Vic and Peter. In this edition, at 1 a.m. in the morning, we're gonna be gift wrapping some Secret Santa gifts that we have to send out to somebody tomorrow at a holiday party. Don't worry, they're not gonna see this before they get the gift, so it's cool for us to reveal it. We have been consuming alcohol for the past three hours, lightly. Don't worry, guys, we're not over-consuming. I've been having wine and some rosé. This is probably my second cup, but I've been drinking like quite full cups. And if you didn't know me, Alcohol hits me pretty easily, so this will be a fun night. We're gonna wrap these gifts and see how successful we are at them. I would say I'm quite the gift wrapping connoisseur. Good job. <laughs> I'm not. Every year, I end up wrapping a lot of his gifts if he doesn't opt for putting his gifts into a bag. Yep. So... I wanted to tonight, too. He alive. wanted to tonight, but I think it'd be I thought it would be funner if we gift wrap them in a boozy gift wrap session So this is what we're gonna do tonight I would also like to say I frequently get compliments on how well my gift wrapping is Wow, what a flex <laughs> wow. No, but seriously guys though Need to be humble <laughs> Whatever I swear I probably picked up my gift wrapping skills from my dad because he is very OCD about it and he taught me from a young age to always have sharp corners and how to measure out your gift wrapping paper perfectly. Let's see if I can hold up to my regular standards after being under the influence of alcohol. Here we go. Okay, so why don't you start off by showing what you're going to be gift wrapping tonight, Peter. I have Godiva chocolates. Mmm. Kobe, you want some chocolate? No, he cannot have chocolate. chocolate. These are from Saxaw Fifth. Thanks to Ching for reminding me to get candy. Yeah, she got a bunch of squish candy and that's why I thought of chocolates. Okay. Smart. Okay. And this, it's a pet treat launcher. That's why he wants it so bad. It doesn't actually smell like treats though. No, but it's because we also got one for ourselves. Where did you get this from? Indigo? Indigo. Indigo. We got Indigo. one for ourselves to use for Kobe and I think he like 
visually associates that with his right now, so he just wants it because he knows he's gonna get treats. Anyways, you're gonna wrap yours first and then I'll wrap mine. Or should we wrap them at the same time? I don't know. I don't know if we have enough space to wrap them. Okay, fine. Then why okay. don't you just wrap mine for me? I'm not wrapping yours for you. I do that already every year. This is a challenge to see if you can wrap it after you drank some beer and some, some rosé. I'm not very good at wrapping. It's okay. So what, what are you doing right now? I stuffed my box <laughs> with tissue paper. See? Why? Just how I would do it with a bag. Oops. What do you mean why? I don't know. Why am I doing this? I have no idea. I just found paper in my box, so I'm doing it. Your phone just went off. Oops. I'm gonna cut out the distractions so we can wrap in peace. Where's the tape? Here. No, I need big tape for the box. I don't know the packing tape's in the drawer. Go get it. It's in the kitchen. Oh my god. Hello, my little smush. How are you gonna cut your tape? Put an, a serrated edge on it. Okay. Stop. Oh, it's cold. We're gonna bite it off for you. Should I start by measuring mine? Well, you measure mine. No, every each of us has to do it completely start to finish no, by yourself. You no help involved by the other person. You should measure mine. Mm, that's not happening. Which wrapping paper do you use? Give me the snowman. They're not snowmen. They're penguins. They're like little penguins. But how cute is this? So you're taking the penguin gift wrap? Why don't we just use both? Okay, what so if you... I did half and half? Half and half. Wrapping. No, that's stupid. I don't want to waste gift wrapping with that. You're using penguins and I'm using the stripes. This is my stripey. This is my striped craft paper that I got from Michael's last year. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So aesthetic. Okay, while you do this, I'm gonna let the dog out because he's scratching at our balcony door. BRBs. BRBs. This is your solo stop, show. Stop yelling at me. You always have to yell. Oh man. Your tape is the worst. You want to glue your presents together? Mmm. I haven't mentioned what we're currently drinking. I'll show you guys. Let me grab the bottle. So in tonight's edition of drinking with the listed, <laughs> with the lists, with the lists. What? I don't know. Yellowtail just got listed. Sure. We have a hashtag between the two of us called Get Listed whenever we post a picture together. So, in tonight's edition of hashtag Get Listed, we are drinking this Yellowtail. It is the Pink Bubbles. It's sparkling rosé wine. This video is not sponsored, but I love Yellowtail, so I want to show you guys what we're having tonight. Cheers! Why aren't you drinking? I'm working. Some of us have to work here, you know. This is work. Yeah, I know. I'm said I'm working. But you make me look like I'm an alcoholic by drinking by myself. Well, it's your fault for drinking on your own. I need help. What do you need help with? Hold the paper down. Ugh. You're not very useful when you're drinking. Here, I did it. Why did it take you so long? I don't. I'm gonna bring this closer so they can see. Tilt it downwards. How are you wrapping it? I don't know, like a box. Don't you know how to measure? No, I don't. Okay, so here's how you measure paper. Very easy, guys. You just wrap your paper around the box and see if it fits. If you guesstimate how much wrapping paper you use, you're not wrapping right. Okay, so. Oh no, we're almost out. I guess I'll have to use both. What you can also do too is if you're not sure if your wrapping paper is going to completely wrap around, which it will, because like, duh, this is literally covering from one edge to the other. What you can do is always roll your box from this direction, like width-wise instead of length-wise to make sure this covers, because then you can cut off less paper. Okay, so one, two, three, does it won't fit. It does not fit. So we're gonna wrap it the normal way. So I guess you have to use the whole thing. Oh whoa! There's more inside! Kobe, you ripped it! Stop yelling. What the f He ripped the wrapping paper! So we're gonna have to cut up to there anyway. No, we're not. I don't care. I'm okay. using it all. 
so that you're wasting. Here's the tip, guys. Once you completely roll it over your box, little, leave a little bit extra. I usually leave about two to three inches so that you can overlap. That way, you don't have you don't run the risk of like leaving a sliver okay. of the can, box. Can you do it while I hold the dog? No, how about I will hold the dog no, and you can- too late. Give me a dog! You have the scissors. Just do it. Be part of the team. I am a team player. You put it this way so they can see. Can you close the door? So, how do I wrap paper straight, you guys ask? Well, after many years of doing it, I have become a proficient wrapping paper cutter. But I'm gonna give you a trick, and all that requires is a ruler. So let me go get the ruler, and I'll be right back. But first, a drink. I am back with my trusty ruler, and honestly, you just need a ruler that has a hard, straight edge. I don't ever really measure or write anything out to make sure that my wrapping paper is at the right length. All you gotta do is put it down on the paper and rip. So I'll show you exactly how I do this. And I learned this from my dad. This is where the paper hits the box exactly. And like I said, leave about an extra two to three inches so that you can overlap. So I'm gonna cut the paper about here. And then all you do is lay the ruler down. Make sure you press it down completely with your hand and pray to God that your ruler is straight. Once you have that line created, all you gotta do is start ripping. Whoop. Look at that straight line. Isn't it aesthetic? And then you just keep going until you get to the bottom. But you're wrinkling the paper. No one cares about wrinkled paper. You're They're wrinkled just gonna rip it anyways. Oh my God, that's my present. What are people gonna think of me? And voila, your paper is ripped. It is at a nice straight line. I don't even know why I took the scissors to begin with because I never even use scissors. This is probably my boozy brain speaking, but there you go. Your paper's cut and time to get rubbing. Give me dog. Do you wrap present? Okay, can you move? Why is there so much paper? Wait, maybe we just use the same wrapping paper because I might be able to fit this on the other side. So you only really need like up to here. Move the box out. Move this box out. Take my box and lie it down flat. Okay, now roll the paper back over it. Oh yeah! We'll just cut this in half so I'll completely cover my box and your box. We're saving paper with one sheet. We are now gonna go back to slicing the paper so that I can get a sheet out of it as well too. But I just realized this is gonna make it really easy for people to figure out who Who cares? Who gifted it's only couples going. Okay. You can also rip backwards from the bottom starting up and it'll work fine. This is a foolproof method to cut your wrapping paper. Wow, wow. Magic! Paper, paper rips both ways, who knew? Well, sometimes people like get really specific. I'm gonna let him go. No. Why? <gasps> no. You keep ripping stuff. Well, that's the theme. It's ripping paper. And voila! Two sheets of paper completely done. Why do I have to use the rip side? I don't. I didn't plan this. Yeah, you did. You totally planned this. So rude. The dog's going free. Kobe, get out! Don't lick that. So now that the paper is ripped, we're gonna wrap it. Kobe, you're in the frame. There's something interfering. You're in the frame. Come here. Come here. Why would you tape it like that? Tape it in the middle. Why? Because then it's weird. Then you have your seams at a corner. It's not the right to look at. Nobody's looking at my wrapping job. Nobody will even know it's me. I'm judging. It's Secret Santa. 
It's Chris Kringle, not Secret Santa. Oh, whatever. Same thing. Nah, you boss made a fart noise. This isn't straight. I saw my fault. Who cut it? It's not even. Look, you I have. I saw my fault. Who cut it? What? What is this cut job? I don't know. You're the one who cut it. Make sure it's tight. You have too much like extra loose paper. You cut it. My gun is tight. So like, you're doing this. Move your box forward so that it's tight, and then you tape it. That's how you get the crisp edges, people. How do I do the sides? What's happening over there? That sound that you hear is Colby currently humping this leg. Yep. Does anybody else have a super horny dog at home? Because my dog is loco! How do you do the sides? <laughs> I'm so confused. Wow, this uh, unwrapping is trash. You know when you're in school mm -hmm. and when you're just like, man, I just gotta write this stupid paper and you just like whip it out quickly without thinking? Yeah. That's how I feel about wrapping papers or wrapping gifts. I'd rather write like a 25 page essay. Hey, this is actually pretty good than usual. 25 page essay on legal ethics. That's what you'd rather do than wrap gifts? Yeah, this shit sucks. If you guys have to vote in the comments below, let us know who you think did it better. Vote for me job. to write a 25 page essay on legal ethics. Who willingly wants that? I'm done. This is how I feel. You know, check without glasses in comparison to the present. They can't see it. Oh, it's really close. Good job. I know. I'm done. Can I go to bed now? Let's do a quick thorough assessment of Peter's wrap job. Not bad. It's pretty clean here. It's pretty tight all- What is this? What? Your edges don't even meet. This is what he did. The edges of the top and the bottom don't even meet together. Don't mean to meet. Oh, well, did you even- he didn't even fix the ripping the paper, he just left it here. Yeah, somebody needs to know that Kobe contributed. Why don't you tape that down shut? No, Kobe contributed to the wrapping. Yeah, but then they'll know it's Kobe and Secret Santa they're not supposed to know. No. Okay, so it's my turn to wrap the gift now. Let's see how this goes. My paper. This is tape. Oh, shit. Now that I look at the paper, I really did cut it messed up. I can't see this, but look, this edge goes down. This edge over here. Yeah. <laughs> Talking shit. For me, I always like to wrap with the edges. Ow, my fingers. With the edges meeting on like the back, so that I don't know. I think it's aesthetically nicer that way. I like to wrap in 16 bars. It's a freestyling reference, but you don't get it. Did you take the price tag off? I did. Don't worry. They're not gonna know. Are you sure? Yeah. It's pretty obvious where it came from if that price tag is on. I took it off. Okay. Yeah, there goes another Kobe cameo. I'm gonna pick this gift tomorrow. Why? We don't need it. I'm gonna pick my own gift. Because I want my own chocolate. That's silly. Okay, so. Have you done that before? No? Pick Who picks gift? their own secret Santa gift? That'd be great. Okay, now I'm wrapping the edges. No, I cut too much. It goes over the edge. And then I like to press down the corners so that the other side doesn't get messed up while I'm wrapping it. I'm having tape. Can you give me more? There's only packing tape. That's fine. Check the second drawer, there might be more nope, actual- just packing tape. Okay. Cause I don't wanna get up. It works. I only get up for food, and there's no food here. And then these two corners again. I wish we had some chips. No some snacks! Snacks. Remember we said we 
You're trying to stay healthy. I know, so I didn't buy them. But I think we really go for some pretzels. <laughs> something salty. Something salty. Why are you drinking booze? That's unhealthy. Yeah, that's why you gotta balance it out with salt. Ooh, okay. you know what would be really good right now? What? Some Belize tacos. I don't want tacos, it's too oh, late at night. Oh man, I could go for some tacos. Or some fry jacks. Remember fry jacks? Yes, I do. Okay, so now comes the taping down of the edges. Why isn't the tape sticking? Ew, that looks not cute. I can already tell. This is definitely not one of my best wrap offs. No, it's pretty whack. Yeah. I've done some pretty good wrap offs, guys, where people have asked if I send my gifts off to be wrapped by somebody else. This is not going to And then she's like, yeah, I sent it to the dump list. Excuse me, I would never let you wrap my gifts. Yeah, you would. I think my present was better so far. <laughs> yeah, my present's so much better than it's, yours. It's pretty shit. <laughs> It's trash. pretty shit for the level Ooh. of wrapping I usually do, guys. That's trash for me. Okay. Or I should just like never wrap gifts while drinking ever again. Or only do it exclusively when you're drinking. So then it becomes the norm. No! Then everyone will just expect bad wrapping jobs. Yeah, but everybody already knows and expects good wrap jobs from me. Like You can always change people's perception of you. Listen, I'm like known for my insane wrapping, so... Yeah, and now you can be known to be rapping like me. Almost done, just one more flap to go. <gasps> Oops, I ripped the paper. I feel really bad for whoever picks this gift tomorrow. Don't worry. They'll just exchange it for something else. I didn't We're still in people's gifts. Oh, sure. What do you mean, how? Well, I mean, like, whoever has to open it gets such a bad wrap job. Nobody cares. They're just opening. But still, like, I have a reputation to upkeep. Yeah, but nobody knows it's you. For all you know, they'll think it's Richard. They will. Wow. The shade. Yeah. I'm sorry, Richard. I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. You're probably better. <laughs> I'm done! Okay, so this is what my <laughs> this is what the good edge looks like. It's pretty flat I'd say. This side though is absolutely terrible. Ooh, this look looks like trash. This looks like trash. Look it looks like top. something I wrapped the first year I started wrapping my gifts. Look at the top. What about the top? It looks fine. Look at this this the penguins. What about them? There's not even a line. That's the back! Remember I said I wrapped the back first. Ooh. Okay, okay, so my gift, Peter's gift. Yeah, mine's better. Dubs. Okay guys, thank you for joining us for Boozy Gift Wrapping. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I have learned that I should never allow myself to gift wrap if I am consuming alcohol. So I've learned to never ever gift wrap ever again if I'm consuming any alcohol because my gifts look like shit. Like complete and total shit. <laughs> for shame. I'm sorry for whoever gets this gift tomorrow. Um, you're gonna have to deal. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please vote below and let us know who do you think did a better rap job? Me, Vic, or Peter? Or the dog. Or the dog because he contributed to some extent, guys. Yeah, he made a mess out of everything. What? Huh? What did you say? What? All right, well, we'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's Vlogmas when we're actually going to be going to our holiday party and sharing these gifts. Maybe we'll see what people think of our back job then. Yeah, we'll pull everyone <laughs> randomly so they won't know it's ours. Yes. Until then, have a good night, guys. Happy Vlogmas, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!